Hello guys, it's me, Victor. I'm back with another review video. I am here to review the Microsoft Surface 3. Here it is. This is the cellular version, AT&T. I had a friend who used to own this. She had it on AT&T, but this is just like not active on AT&T anymore. So it's just like a regular kind of like Windows 10 tablet. I'm going to turn it on here for a second. The keyboard has like a nice felt touch to it on the uh, part where it doesn't have any keys on it. It has a small trackpad, but it's the sensitivity is nice. Um, just like any other Windows computer or Linux or Mac, you can change the sensitivity of the mouse. Um, you can also connect a USB mouse to it. I'm going to look at the ports on the side real quick. Thunderbolt, USB, we have a micro USB here, that's to charge the device, a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. Uh, back in the day when this thing came out, it had Windows 8, it came out with Windows 8, so, and a lot of us are not really a fan of Windows 8, including me. Um, so when I uploaded, uh, when... If you guys have an older tablet like this, and you guys have Windows 8, you can upgrade to Windows 10 for free. Microsoft is still offering that. Um, so, now when you update to Windows 10, the touchscreen will not be, like, supported immediately. So what you have to do, you have to, like, search for drivers, which is pretty easy. I mean, uh, let's see here, I'll show you. This is... Only a 2 gigabyte RAM model, 64 gigs of flash memory. It's not like the biggest, it's not the greatest and grandest, but it does the job. Um, if you want to do basic stuff on it, so we're just going to close this. What we're going to do, we're going to open up the browser. It's, it's pretty useful for what you need to do on the internet. Basically, it's basically your nice internet machine that you can carry around. Let's see, we can type in weather.gov. If I can type today, I'm kind of recording with one hand and doing everything else with the other. Okay. So, of course, depending on your internet speed, most modern internet at home is pretty quick. If you have Comcast or whatever, Verizon. Uh, responsibility is pretty quick, too. Responsive touch here. You know, pinch and zoom like a regular tablet. Also, you can fold this back and turn this here. You can just use it like a regular tablet, put it on your lap. It'll tell you do you want to switch to tablet mode? This makes Windows more touch friendly when using your device. Okay, so I, you know, I like to use it as a laptop personally, so I'm just gonna fold this back up just like so. The keyboard also magnetically detaches. It's like an iPad Pro, kind of. There you go. Bam. Except you get the full Windows experience. So you got the whole nice start menu all back. And it's great. The screen is pretty clear. It's a wide aspect ratio, 16 by 9. I'm not 100% sure. I think it's 2640 by 1440 or something like that. Some kind of resolution like that, but... You can you can watch full 1080p videos, 4K videos. I mean, I don't think you get the full 4K experience on here. However, what I'm saying is it supports high def videos on here, and that's really cool. Of course, the default Windows 10 background, and yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. It's useful for basic things. Um, Let's see here, camera, I really never use camera on tablets because number one, your cell phone, that's what your cell phone is made for. Uh, number two, I mean, it's it's good for Skype too uh, because it has a front facing camera here and also has one in the back right there with a stereo microphone array. So that's basically it. It's, 
not a full-fledged model let's see i can get you the i can get you the specs real quick system and then we scroll down to about and then we can just go to scroll system info click on that one it'll tell me you see it all supports the latest version of windows 10 which is 1809 the time of this recording is in March of 2019, so it does support the latest as far as Windows 10. And yeah, this is basically the, it has an Intel Atom, 1.6 gigahertz, 2 gigabytes of RAM, 64-bit processor. Of course, it's touch support, and it's, it's pretty good for what it needs to be, so in no means can it do any kind of triple a title games or anything like that um it'll probably do if anything probably minecraft um at you know a supported frame rate of like 60 or maybe a little bit higher than that if you're into looking for a portable gaming machine this is not this is not what i would be looking for um if you want to play more older games you know, you can certainly do that, plug, plug in a DVD player, CD player on the side, and pop in your CD-ROMs, go real old school, and pop in a virtual machine, run Windows XP, and or Windows 2000, whatever, and just run it off there. I have, haven't tested it on here, on this particular device, but if you know what you're doing with that kind of thing, then I'm sure... It can work so yeah that's pretty much it so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video